Hey guys, what is up? Copyright here, and I'm normally a Let's Player, or uh, more of a video gaming sort of video maker, but today I'm bringing you something more serious. Um, recently my computer, or my laptop rather, uh, got the virus that is called the ice virus, or what I'm calling the ice virus. Now what this virus is, it looks something like this. They claim to be a cyber crime. You can see up here it says the ICE Cyber Crime Center or something like that. Uh, it, they basically say that you were caught breaking the law. It says down here what you're faced, what charges you're faced with, and whatever. But um, and it says up here that, of course, you can see your computer is blocked. It says down here to unblock your computer, you have to pay them three hundred dollars with Money Pack. Now, this. This whole thing is a scam. Do not fall for this, guys. Um, you can, I mean, for me, I, whenever I got this and the instant I saw this, I was like, okay, it says that they're a government agency, but if I pay them $300, they'll take off the charges. Governments don't work like that. This is a complete scam. Do not fall for it. Um, it says that if you try to uh, do anything to remove this virus, it is going to erase all your files. However, this is false. This was actually not really the best virus made by somebody. Uh, you can see that there's a lot of pictures of it. And now if you try to see how to remove it, you're going to get a lot of really weird stuff. Like if I type in ice how or how to remove how to remove ice virus. If I typed it in virus removal solution, ice virus gone in minutes, all this stuff this I mean almost all of these links are giving you downloads these, these are telling you download something and it will get rid of it now I didn't really want to download something because like for example this one it's saying like three easy ways to re three easy tips to remove it if you scroll around it just tells you to download it now um what I did, I did something completely different. I did it by myself. I figured it out by myself. It really wasn't too difficult. Um, I mean, I didn't want to download something that I didn't really trust, so I didn't. How I did it, how I removed it, was whenever you start up your computer, at first, whenever it's starting, press the F8 button. That'll bring it. That'll bring up a system restore menu, or not a system restore menu, a safe mode menu. If you if I go to images, you'll see exactly what I mean. It'll it'll pull up something that looks a lot like this. What you want to do is go to safe mode with networking, and then once you go there, it'll start up your computer and etc. It'll start it and it'll pull up a command prompt. This will be right here. And if you the first time I tried it, I had this command prompt come up. It shut down my computer and restarted. It. What I think they did was they have something like a batch file that restarts your computer whenever you start it up in there. But um, what you want to do, this is a necessary step because once you do this, once you start it, this command prompt will come up and you see how it says C Windows System 32 CMD.exe. CMD.exe is command prompt. Um, it'll say something different. Like mine said TTILE something something something. And um, this the command prompt that comes up this is the virus itself what you want to do is make sure you read what the title of it says where it says like cmd.exe you want to make sure you get the name of it and then once it restarts what you want to do control alt delete what you want to do is close the command prompt control alt delete and then you want to get it start task manager when you're in task manager for example i'm using camtasia recording studio to uh, record this so I'll use this as an example what you want to do is find the TTILE or whatever yours is um, mine had a lot of other letters after TTILE but that's what mine was I'm not sure if it's the same for everyone but it might be it might be something different so just make sure you get that down don't take my word for it going and looking for TTILE on your processes list because it might be something different what you want to do is right click it click properties once you pull that up, that'll tell you the location of it. For example, Camtasia Recorder, C Program Files times 86, TechSmith Camtasia Studio. What you want to do, though, is get this path, go to the path, 
and delete that file. Delete it, delete it from your recycle bin, and then once you do that, really all that's left is you will be left with a screen that looks a lot like this. You have a black screen, there'll be a command prompt, you can restart your computer, a uh, command prompt will come up, but you won't be able to, like, you won't be able to see your desktop or anything, it'll just be this command prompt. What you want to do with this command prompt is, it took me a while to figure this out, but I accident, I really accidentally figured it out. What you want to do is type start explorer, that will pull up your desktop, your icons, your taskbar, it'll pull up everything. The next step that you want to do is, pretty much you can do that every time that it starts up, but if, I, I really don't like doing that because it gets to be a hassle, so what you want to do, go to start, all programs, scroll down to where you see startup, right click it, click open, and that will pull it up in the window, and then what you do from here is start computer, because what you, you want to find explorer, and this is in computer, C, windows, and then you scroll down and Explorer is right here. This is what uh, has your desktop and everything. Right click this, go down, create shortcut. Once you create the shortcut, drag this into your startup folder. Now you'll be able to restart your computer and whenever it restarts, it'll pull up your desktop, your taskbar, everything. And things will should be back to normal. Um, so this is that's how I removed the ice virus. I didn't have to pay $300, I didn't have to download any random crap, nothing. So, as you can see, it, it's back to normal. So, um, anyway, that's how I removed it. If it doesn't work for you guys, if you guys have any problems with this, um, just send me a message or leave a comment or whatever you would like to do, and I will try to help you. I might have missed some steps because I didn't actually take pictures during every step in the process, because I wasn't exactly sure how to do it in the first place, but I figured it out eventually. So if I left anything out, if there's something that has popped up that you don't know how to fix, just contact me, let me know. I will do my best to try to help you fix it. Um, like I said, I might have accidentally left it out. No, change. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's how I fixed it. I hope it works for you guys. Like I said, if not, just let me know. I'll try to help you. But, um... I really wanted to do this video because there was no actual solution out there that I could find telling you how to do it without a download. Um, and this way you can just do it manually without making a download. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this, I really hope this works for you because I know how it can be frustrating somebody telling you, oh, you have to either pay us $300 or you're going to get your files reset. Well, here is the solution to get rid of it without having your files to it and have without having to pay three hundred dollars. So um thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope it I really hope it works for you. Um like I said if it doesn't let me know. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Thank you for checking this video out. And yeah, um have a nice day guys.